Hello, I'm Andrew Ronnelly, Sales Manager at Genium Performance Products. And today I'm going to be demonstrating how to check drawbar force using our hydraulic clamp force gauge. Now checking clamping force is an easy procedure, but it often goes unchecked. It is assumed that as long as the machine is clamping, it is functioning properly. But often, this is not the case. Most drawbars are built using a Belleville washer stack system to generate clamping force. Now as the Belleville washers crack and break, clamping force is reduced. A drop in drawbar force allows the tool holder to move in the spindle, creating damage to the spindle and the tool holder while lowering tool life. Now the clamp force gauge is easy to use. First, choose the adapter for the machine you're about to check. In this case, we'll be using the Cat 40 adapter along with a 5,000 pound gauge head. Install the adapter shaft and then place the adapter over the shaft. The last step is to install the retention knob. Make sure you use a retention knob from the machine that you're about to test. Now that the gauge is assembled, let's see how easy it is to use. Using the manual tool change, place the gauge into the spindle and then energize your spindle. You can see the gauge instantly reads out in foot pounds. Please remember to check your machines frequently. Now once a drawbar force drops below 80% of its original force, it's time to schedule maintenance. And to find out more information about the clamp force gauge and the products we manufacture, please visit our website at jmperformanceproducts.com or call us toll free at 1-800-322-7750. And thanks for watching.